When a basketball coach is selecting his team, who will he select first? Will it be the fastest, the tallest, the person that can dribble the best, or shoot the ball better than anyone else? The above answers to the questions are no. The coach will not select the fastest, the tallest, the best dribbler, or the shooter first. What student will do best in this class? Will it be the smartest student? The student who will do the best in the class is not necessarily the smartest student. The person who is selected first in sports and will do the best in this class is the person who never gives up, or the person who has grit. Grit is defined as the courage or resolve, and resolve means that the person does not quit unless until he or she has obtained the goal. If the following people didn't have grit, the following things would not have been made. Steve Jobs was fired from the company he founded, Apple, because the Apple computers were being outsold by Microsoft. While fired, he founded Pixar, the company that gave us Toy Story. He was later rehired by Apple, and his ideas led to the iPhone and the iPad. Walt Disney was not able to find a cartoonist job because he lacked imagination. He persisted, and the rest is history. J.K. Rowling is behind the Harry Potter book series in the Hogwarts universe. Her books have been bought all over the world. She was once so poor she had to defend on, depend on welfare. She was divorced, depressed, and taking care of one child. When she took her first manuscript of the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, it was rejected a total of 12 times by Bloomsbury Publishers. Eventually, the, the book was published and it opened the gates of fortune for the author. Today, she is one of the richest women in the world because she wanted to succeed more than she feared failure. She had grit. Oprah Winfrey overcame tra tribulation in her life to achieve success. Born in Mississippi, she was so poor that she had to wear sacks as clothing. She didn't give up, went to public schools where she excelled. With the assistance of scholarships, she went on to attend college and majored in journalism. One thing led to another, and now she's in charge of an empire worth $2.9 billion. Grit and perseverance are necessary to achieve greatness. Keep trying when the questions get difficult. Work as hard as you can, and your teachers and I will be very proud. You will be surprised at what you can do when you try hard and make your mind up to never quit. Your teachers have done a great job making sure you knew what was on the test. Your teachers have been awesome. This is the time for you to be awesome and shine and show us what you can do. Good luck. You've got this. You're at your final race. You can do this. Do your best. I challenge you to be the Olympic runner. Work every problem and work hard all the way to the end. You've got this. We believe in you. Hey fourth graders, Coach Lambert here. I am so incredibly proud of you. The time has come when it's time for you to take your test. Um, we are incredibly proud of you. I know all year long, you have worked extremely hard. You've missed PE class and helped to stay in and uh, prepare for this test. And I just want you to remember just to breathe. <laughs> Hey fourth graders, this is Tristan. I know y'all been working hard for the state test you're about to take, and I uh, just want you to know that all the hard work you've been doing is going to pay off, and uh, good luck.
Listen up, fourth grade boys and girls. I know y'all have a big day this morning. You've got your fourth grade reading test. If you don't know who I am, I'm Coach Maddox and I coach football for the Bova Blue Devils. We have college recruiters coming in going to want to sign some of our football players. The first thing they ask me, Coach Maddox, how are their grades? And I tell them the truth. Hey guys, this is Dallas Gilmer. I play football, basketball, and run track for the Blue Devils. One thing that I learned from playing sports is that hard work is the key to success. I know that y'all have prepared yourselves so hard for this test. Now it's time to show everyone what you can do. I want you to work hard, do your best, and show everyone that you are number one. Go double. You have a big day, and don't say, Coach, I can't. That's not accepted over here if you want to be a Boomer Blue Devil in any of our sports, whether you're a male or female. We do not accept the word, I can't. Everyone can if you put forth that effort. So put forth a big effort this morning and do great on that test. I'm gonna keep checking. I'm, I'm going to ask them how you did. I want to know, I care about your future. Thank you. Your future's so bright, I even had to wear my shades. Silent talk, silent talk, silent talk. Go and do it for me. Now watch me whip. Kill it. Now watch me nay nay. Okay. Now watch me whip. Whip. Watch me nay nay. Why me do it? Now watch me whip. Kill it. Watch me nay nay. Okay. Now watch me whip. Whip. Watch me nay nay.